What is going on guys? Marcus here with the Reformation Woodshop. On today's episode of Making Something I Saw on the Internet, I am going to be making a balance beam for my daughter. I am very interested in Montessori, Montessori education, and the ideas of teaching kids in a natural, interesting way that doesn't require a whole lot of books and critical learning and stuff like that. I want my daughter to be excited about what she's doing. I want her to learn how to be hands-on with problem solving. If you're a fan of the channel, you have seen my Pickler Triangle arch and climbing wall that I made a few months ago. Well, this is similar to those sets. It is a balance board that is made for just that, balancing. This is something I've been wanting to make for a while now and possibly sell at craft shows. So if this goes well, if I make them and they turn out nice, then maybe they'll become a part of the rotation of things that I can sell. If that works out for me, I'll let you guys know and then maybe you can make them for yourself. Sell them where you're at. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate it. So I'm not 100% sure on the dimensions of this project. I don't know the length it should be. I don't know the height it should be. I don't even know the width. So I'm going to prototype and uh, let my daughter play around with it. And if she's able to handle it really well and it works out for her, then we'll go with that size. If it doesn't, then we'll change it. So to catch up to this point, I have cut a strip of three quarter inch plywood, about five inches wide. I cut four inch feet for it, four and a half inch feet for it to be exact. And I am laying out where all of those feet will go. To attach the feet to the actual surface of the balance board, I plan on using a mortise and tenon joint so that it's a strong, tight hold. And it also is gonna look fantastic. Since this is the prototype and it does not have to look beautiful because it is not the final product, I am using my jigsaw to take away the material just to get the feet in there to make sure everything functions oh. the way it should. Can we call that first try? Literally first try, you just saw me do it. And it's, it's a tight fit. Gotta dry fit everything and make sure it fits perfectly where it's supposed to. Now that all the feet are sitting snug exactly where they belong, I will drill some pilot holes, send some screws into those slots, and then I'll move on to putting feet on the bottom. All right, so the prototype of the balance beam stayed over the weekend inside my house. First thing to note uh, was it's a little wide. When you're on a balance beam, you wanna be able to tiptoe across it, walk across it. It's pretty wide, you can stand with both your feet on it, and I want it to be a little bit more challenging because that's the whole goal. I want you to go foot over foot. Um, another thing I realized is that it was entirely too long. Ridiculous amount of length. Storing the thing alone is annoying you stand it up and it's like hitting the roof so five foot probably max all right so i guess i'm gonna get started on the final product the real thing So as I start this project over, a few things to note. I am cutting the surface of the balance board at four inches instead of five, make it a little skinnier. I am using maple boards that are one inch thick. They'll be a lot more rigid than the actual plywood I was using before. Before joining all the boards together, I decided to hit them with the round over with the router because I was gonna do that at the end anyways, and I think it will be easier at this step. At this step of the build, I cut the feet to the same dimensions, four and a half inches, as the last ones because I liked the height and I don't think there was anything that needed to be changed with it. If you pay close attention, you'll see I am not using a tape measure, I am using my Recon M1 Caliber. If you're interested in that thing, there is a video on my channel covering it. That's a good looking bean. If I ever seen one. Another change I decided to make while working through this project was to take the feet from 
two tenons to one so that one tenon would stick through the middle of the board and it would be a nice cooler aesthetic look and I could get two screws through the top of the board into the feet instead of just the one. You'll see me here using my countersink bit. That is so that whenever I drive my screws, there will be space for the head to recess into the wood and it will not be touching the floor because these are the feet. Now it is time to start removing material from the mortise where the tenons will come through the board. I'll first use my drill to take away most of the material and then I will come back through with a sharp chisel to make sure the edges are crisp. I found this cheap camera rig that your phone can go inside of and it hangs from around your neck. And I utilized that for this I now know I will never do this again and I apologize because this is nauseating. Attaching the feet, bear with me here. Since this is not the rough draft anymore and this will be the final project, I am hiding all hardware because I want this joinery to look beautiful. So I am drilling recesses for my screws to be hidden inside of and then I will cover them up with dowels and flush them all up. Putting that new sander to action, baby. I would not prefer any other. No stains or dyes, just a beautiful linseed oil to bring out the natural color and beauty of the maple. There's a lot of nice figure in this maple and I am glad I chose it. You did it! Okay, hold it. You gotta get a video of Daddy. Look, look at it. Hold it up. You have to hold it up. Get right there. You wanna see me? <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I genuinely appreciate it. If you go on to make a balance board for yourself, send me a picture on Instagram. I would love to see it. If you make any modifications, make it cooler, let me know what you do. I'd love to check it out. Come here, baby. You want to be in my video? Yeah. <laughs> okay, look at the camera. Do you see yourself? Let's do the outro. Yeah. What do you do for an outro? 
Yeah, okay, say thank you for watching. For the watching. Subscribe. Subscribe. Like. Okay. Comment. Comment. And stick around for more videos. Stick around for more videos. You heard it here, folks. Thank you.